All right, how's everybody doing? Today I'm gonna do a lot. I'm gonna do a water change. Basically, I use a python, and it works real well. Excuse the video might be a little close today because the glare on my fish tank is very bad. So we're gonna start by vacuuming off out. Excuse me. The gravel first. Usually gets pretty dirty, as you can see. And then uh, I'll show you what else I do. What I'm going to try to do to clean the sump today, my main purpose is to clean the sump, so that is what we're going to do here in a minute. Hang on. All right, so now what we're going to do is, excuse the sun, it's really sunny out here out in South Florida. We are going to get a bucket. Excuse this. All right, we're going to get a bucket. And we're going to put some tank water in there. So what we're going to use the tank water for is to clean all the ceramic media so it keeps all its beneficial bacteria. Uh, you don't want to use tap water because tap water will kill it all. And then you're going to have to recycle your tank, and that's going to be a pain in the ass because you're going to have to watch your fish and probably take the fish out. Maybe not. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could cycle it or put some prime in there and some uh, beneficial bacteria. Uh, you know, like uh, Fritz has a, a tank starter. Um, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Seachem. What's it called? Anyways, there's another product that I use there, too, for the first, like, month or so or two that I uh, cycle a tank, though. But do not use tap water. It will ruin your tank cycle. So we're going to fill this up here and then I'm going to go inside and take all the ceramic media out and then I'm going to shut off the, uh, the python that's sucking all the water out of my tank So because it's getting, I got caught up in cleaning all the gravel and everything so uh, I'll get back to you in a second. Okay so now we have our tank water in the bucket. I stopped, Thanks. sorry about the glare. The python from sucking water out of the tank. I'm gonna turn the light on in here. <sighs> Not the blue one. I'm gonna take all this ceramic media here. I'm gonna clean it here because you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here in a second. And we're gonna put it into the bucket, into the tank water. All right, so I took all the ceramic media out of the sump. Look how dirty that water is, man. It is bad. It's been a couple, like six months or so. I'm going to clean the filter sock as well. But we're going to get all that water out of there. I'm going to show you how. Here's all the ceramic media. The clear tank water. And I'll cut you guys back on in a minute. Okay. There we go, we got this small little pump that came ordered from Amazon. I think it might be a little too small. I don't know. This is the part where we're going to find out if my wife is actually watching my videos because the bucket I was going to use was cracked. And I did not want to use it, so I grabbed this. Luckily, she's at... Uh, for uh, my mother-in-law's house, so we're just going to use this right here. I can freaking it. It's pretty hard with one hand. I didn't want to use my tripod. So, hopefully I don't get electrocuted. Okay, so this little thing, you have to use a USB. See? USB. It doesn't come with a plug, so you got to um, 
use this. So we'll see how this works here. Well, it is on. It's pretty quiet. There's a little plus and minus. So let's go all the way up. Why not, right? Let's see how this works. So let's do that. I'm going to keep this here. All right, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't get all caught up in everything. We'll see. This tube might not, might not be uh, long enough. Luckily I grabbed something else. But I sure will hear from it from my wife. Oh. It's actually working. Oh wow. Huh. That little thing works. So I'm gonna take all this stuff out. I'm not gonna use an abrasive um cleaner for the walls in here because it is acrylic and i'm pretty sure you could do that but i'm just gonna use a regular sponge and then clean it out but yeah it's flowing pretty good and it's taking everything out it's only a couple gallons like probably three four gallons so it's probably gonna work real well so yeah don't forget if you buy one of these make sure you got a you know one of these usb plugs so it was a usb so I'll cut it back on when it's empty. Some more video. It's flowing pretty good. That little freaking thing. I couldn't believe it. I was kind of worried for a minute, but the only thing I'm worried about is it might get clogged up with all that stuff on the bottom because I am going to put some water in here, rinse it out. So we'll see. All right. So that only took, took about a minute or so. So um, what I'm doing is I'm stirring up the bottom as I am, uh, you can see, stirring it up as I am emptying the water out of here. But it worked pretty good. Probably about a minute, maybe two minutes. It got all of it out of there. Uh, if you have a bigger sump, I wouldn't use it. This <laughs> is going to take a long time. But you can see how dirty everything is here. So i got to unplug my heater. Um, it doesn't freaking shut down on me. All right, I'll cut you guys back on in a minute. This does not have an on-off switch, so this is your on-off switch. Just so you're warned, if you get something similar to this from Amazon. So, all right. Still working pretty good. Almost done. Just gonna stir up the bottom a little bit like I did before. You can see how dirty it is. I really haven't give, given this a sump will clean a thorough cleaning so that's probably why all that stuff's on the bottom there but we're going to take care of all that today so all right let's see how it goes all right about halfway done looks pretty clear i used this side first of the sponge this side but then i used the rough side and it didn't scratch anything i think if it did it's a sump so it's not gonna you know it's not really for curb appeal let's say for lack of words but i figured out in the back here is a different compartment of the sump where the filter goes or the uh um sock filter is and my heater i'm gonna have to pump the water out of that as well so um i gotta do both areas because it only goes through to a certain point you can see right here but uh i mean to each his own, but I used the rough side and it, and it did pretty good. Cleaned it out pretty good. All the scum scale and stuff like that. So, all right, well, we're almost there. Okay. Also, you could use this to fill your sump back up. It's been really helpful. Um, takes a little bit of time. You gotta be patient, but it's working real well. So, almost done. All right. You could also run your, uh, when you're done cleaning it, you could run your uh, tank water straight into the sump. So, that's where it goes a little faster. So, I'm putting the ceramic media in here in a minute, clean my filter sock, and then we're all done. So, all in all, that filter did work out good. So, I'll give you an end review. Okay, here's the end result. 
mice and that's my uh, old lady dog in the back she's got a little cough not that bad sponge did pretty good just need to push this heater back down put the sponge back over here let that dry up there I always let everything dry up there I gotta get this filter sock and uh there we go, further away. Yeah. Cleaned everything pretty much good. Pretty good. So I'll show you the end result. But this is the end result. But I'm going to fill a tank up and everything. You can see everything. All right, so everything's put back together, looking good. Everything's clean. Changed my escape a little bit. Um, I'm gonna start getting the tank ready for another fish that I will be getting. Man, that glare is bad. I get close to the tank. I'm running uh, the filter pretty high right now, or the pump, so I can get everything cleaned up. It's getting cleaned up pretty quick, so you can see that. Um, that pump, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I would probably give it about an 8. It did pretty good, but it did take a little long time. I know in the video I said 1 to 2 minutes. That is not true. It probably took 5 to 10 minutes, so... Uh, it took a little bit of time. If you do buy one of those sump pumps, the little ones, you might get, want to get a little bigger one than that. But all in all, we're pretty good. Thank you for watching.